Hi, welcome to Amazon Developer Video Tutorials. I'm Moses, and today we'll be talking about how to submit an app. Please keep in mind that this video is not about how to create or program an app. It's about how to submit an app that you or your developer have created to the Amazon App Store. So to get started, we'll talk about how to create a new app submission and how to create the general information for your app. First, go to add a new app on the developer dashboard and click Android or mobile web or you can go to the Apps and Services drop-down menu, click My Apps, and then click the Add New App button. For the purposes of this video, we'll be doing an Android app. The first field to enter is the app title. After that, you can add an app SKU if you want to. This is an ID for your own tracking purposes, but Amazon does not use or require this. Next is the app category. Categories are a way for users to find your app more easily, even if they don't know the name of your app or exactly what they're looking for. So it's a way to increase your app searchability and hopefully downloads. The next step is to add the customer support contact information. You can either use the default support information, which can be added under the settings in the company profile. This is to have uniform customer support information across all your apps or you can enter it manually for each individual app. The one required piece of information is the customer support email address. Click Save and you should be brought to your app listing page. You should see six tabs. The first tab should have a green check mark assuming you filled out all the information on the previous page and the other five tabs should have gray check marks because they have not yet been filled out. You'll notice that you cannot yet click the Submit App button because the other five tabs have not yet been filled out. So to get started, we'll click the first gray tab, which is Availability and Pricing. The first question on the Availability and Pricing tab is where would you like this app to be available? In all countries and regions where Amazon sells apps? Or only in selected countries and regions, which you can use to choose specifically where your app will be available. The next question is, is your app free or paid? You can select paid to charge for your app. For example, we'll choose $1 as a base list price, and then you can see that it will automatically select calculate list prices for me. You can also select I will set my own list prices to choose a different price for each region. The final question on this page is when would you like publishing to start? If you would like publishing to begin immediately after the review has been completed, you can just leave this blank. But if you want to delay publishing for a while, you can select a date here. Click Save and we'll move on to the Description tab. The first field in the Description tab is the Display Title. The Display Title is the title as it will appear to customers on the Amazon App Store. So if you want to update it to be different from your internal title, you can do that here. Next is the short description. This is the description as it will appear on the Amazon App Store on mobile phones and tablets. After that is the long description, which is the description as it will appear on the Amazon website. So it can be a bit lengthier if you want it to be. Next is the product feature bullets, where you can list up to 10 key features for your app in a bulleted list. Next are the keywords, which should help increase the searchability for your app. So if customers search for the keywords you've listed, your app should be more easily discoverable. Finally, you can click the Add Localized Descriptions button to add a title or descriptions in other languages. Now let's move on to the Images and Multimedia tab. The first step is to upload two icons, a larger one and a smaller one. Pay attention to the size and format specifications as they need to be exact for the developer portal to accept them. After that, you'll need to upload between 3 and 10 screenshots. Again, pay attention to the size and format specifications. You'll also have the option of uploading a video of your app if you'd like to, but this is not required. You can submit Fire TV assets down below if you're submitting a Fire TV app. That's one icon, the same number of screenshots, and also a background image. Keep in mind that App Store assets are required for a Fire TV app, but Fire TV assets are not required for a mobile app. And just like with the description, you'll have the option of uploading localized media for other regions. Next is the Content Rating tab. So for each of the subject matter fields, you can rate your app as having none, moderate, or strong amounts. After that, you'll choose the target audience for your app. Don't forget that if your app is child-directed, it needs to follow our child-directed app policy. And then for each of the additional information fields, you can choose no or yes. And don't forget to add your privacy policy URL if your company's website has one. 
And that brings us to the APK Files tab. The first question on this page is Apply Amazon DRM. DRM stands for Digital Rights Management. Any app that has Amazon DRM requires the user to have installed and signed into the Amazon App Store in order to use the app. It's a way of protecting your app from being distributed to users who have not downloaded the app from the Amazon App Store. The next section is the APK file. APK file means Android package file, and this is where you'll upload your actual app to the Amazon developer portal. Once your APK file has successfully uploaded, it should appear in the new uploaded APK section. You can then hover your mouse over the edit option to see how many devices your app supports. Click on edit to see which devices your app supports and which it does not and why. You can also disable targeting for certain devices if you'd like to. Keep in mind that this is not your app's final compatibility. These are just the devices your app targets and your app's final compatibility will be determined during the review process. Below that is the language support. Be sure to choose whichever languages your app supports. Below that is the testing instructions. If your app requires login credentials for our testers to test your app, be sure to provide them here along with any other testing instructions you think they may require. Below that is the export compliance. Be sure you read that and that you agree before you check that box. Click save and you should now see that all six tabs have green check marks and you should be able to click the submit app button whenever you're ready. You'll now be able to monitor your submission in the newly available review status tab. We'll let you know if there are any issues and if everything's okay we'll let you know when the app's ready for publishing. For more information about this topic, please check out our article, Getting Started with App Submission. And if you have any further questions, please feel free to use the Contact Us form. Thanks for watching.